Okay, okay. So thank you very much, Steph, and hello, and good afternoon, everyone. I have a very short uh, briefing today. Actually, two heads up for you uh, that uh, will be happening next week. So firstly, the President of the General Assembly will present an update on her campaign against plastic pollution and the use of single plastics. Ms. Maria Fernandez Espinosa will be here at the press briefing room with representatives of Antigua and Barbuda in Norway next week on 30th of April, Tuesday. Both governments of Norway and Antigua and Barbuda are major supports and global advocates of the campaign to tackle plastic pollution. Mrs. Spinoza will also welcome the Grammy Award-winning U.S. singer Ashanti, who is supporting the campaign here to the press conference. Mrs. Spinoza and her guests will deliver short opening remarks and answer your questions on the campaign and on the upcoming concert, Play It Out, to be held in Antigua on 1st June. More information will be provided on the very day of the press conference. 12.30, we won't have our normal briefing. We will dedicate the time to the press conference next week. And on Monday, 29 April, the PGA will convene an interactive meeting with the World Health Organization, WHO, on universal health coverage. The most stakeholder hearing is part of the preparatory process for the GA high-level meeting on universal health coverage, which will take place on 23rd September here at the UN. The theme will be universal health coverage moving together to build a healthier world. The one-day event on 29 April will be held at the J Hall, and the focus uh, is on how investing in health system for universal health coverage drives progress several across several SDGs. And finally, on her agenda this morning, the PJ met with the Ambassador of Hungary, Her Excellency Kathleen Boyai, and the Permanent Representative of Australia, Her Excellency Gillian Bird, on the Disarmament Commission. This afternoon, the, uh, the PJ uh, will take part in a retreat with the African group and hold bilateral meetings with the president of ECOSOC, Her Excellency Inga Roda King, and the Deputy Secretary General, Ms. Amina Mohammed. This is everything from us. Do you have anything else? No? Okay, Linda, go ahead. Um, thank you, Monica. I just have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Is the PGA planning to make any trips, or, or you know, are there any trips on the horizon, near horizon? Uh, yes, actually, as a matter of fact, the PGA has been uh, uh, traveling at invitation of governments uh, uh, to strengthen the relationship with the United Nations and other uh, issues, uh, and uh, we'll be uh, making announcements very soon, I think, um, uh, probably on Wednesday. We'll have an announcement on the next trip. Yes, Masood, go ahead, and then Carla. Thank you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just it's brought up again uh, on this uh, human rights uh, what do you call it? Uh, Detective General on, on this. I'm not going to ask that. That's just a separate question altogether. But does she have any reflection on what has happened in Sri Lanka and the crisis over there? And it continues to be deepening. Does she have any uh, opinion on that? You mean the attacks uh, on the 21st yes. of April? Yes, no, absolutely. It, it continues today, yeah. Yeah, no, she expressed her uh, solidarity with the victims and the families and the hundreds of injured people and uh, condemned the attacks and uh, is actually uh, calling for um, an investigation and that uh, the, the person, the people, the perpetrators responsible uh, will be held accountable. Uh, she spoke uh, after the, the attacks, yeah, immediately, yeah. And, uh, of course, we continue to extend our solidarity uh, to the victims of this uh, heinous and terrible crime. Carla. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether this question, I was going to ask it of Stefan, mm -hmm. but you may be able to handle it. I'm not sure whose bailiwick this falls in, but since you mentioned that uh, the PGA met with the ambassador of Hungary, who mm -hmm. was one of the co-chairs of the Disarmament Commission or co-directors. And Australia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that uh, the meetings were all canceled and only informal meetings were held uh, because visas were not issued to the Russian representatives. Um, I don't, as I said, I don't know whether this would have been a question for Stefan or whether it's something that the GA would handle. 
but if the UN's work on disarmament is being disrupted because my government won't issue visas to the Russian experts, I don't know, maybe there were others as well. Um, where does that fall in relations with the host country or the UN and the host country? Because if they can completely, I was really amazed the entire uh, 10 days had mm -hmm. to be canceled. Yes, um, in regard with the, the meeting, there'll be a, a readout on our uh, website soon, so we'll be um, uh, knowing more. Uh, on in regard with uh, the the visa issue, I I am not aware. I'm not familiar uh, with this. Uh, I'm hearing that from you right now. So perhaps the staff will have more information. We will look into it on Monday. Okay. And I've just heard uh, that uh, uh, this is uh, actually I didn't know. I mean uh, I should know better. Uh, it's a uh, Eastern uh, an Orthodox Easter weekend. So. Many of our colleagues are away celebrating, so happy to all of them celebrating. Thank you very much, and I see you on Monday. Thanks.